Hey love bugs, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and I definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended family, just thank you for being you and walking on that positive path. And with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell. So you know when I'm about to upload my next video and if you are comfortable enough please go ahead and drop me a line or two I would love to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content in my video or you know it's just about the impact the gift and how it impacts your life and heading towards a positive direction I got stuff for <laughs> I got stuff um and if you feel like the video is you know very informative to you it gave you good vibes you would love to share please go ahead and give me a thumbs up like and even share on your social media favorites as well and thank you so much for stopping by my channel I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and today my video um oh the meditation music I'm listening to today is 528 Hertz release inner conflict stop overthinking and worries remove negative thoughts and I will post that link in the description box below um, and my video today is about Twin Flame 101, Hayoka's Knowing When God Has Answered Your Prayers. Um, there is this uh, poem I need to read to y'all that my, my my good sister had sent to me, um, and it really talked to me. I mean, when she was reading it, I mean, tears was coming down my face because it sounds so much like the stuff that I was going through. And um, I'm going to call it, uh, My Prayers Has Been Answered. Uh it was like a friend of hers that was going through some stuff and you know as we do we pray to God to answer our prayers so it's uh it goes like this I asked for strength and God gave me difficulties to make me strong I asked for wisdom and God gave me problems to solve I asked for prosperity and God gave me brawn and brains to work I asked for courage and God gave me dangers to overcome I asked for patience and God had placed me in situations that I was forced to wait I asked for love and God had gave me troubled people to help I asked for favors and God gave me opportunity I received nothing that I wanted but I received everything I needed so it was just like ooh, um, it's a beautiful poem and it made me, you know, it, it touched my heart. You see how I just, I just start, you know, trying not to cry. But it's, it's like, you know what, Dag, that, that poem has really touched me in ways that nothing else has really touched me before. Because it's like when I've always prayed to God, you know, I ask God for patience. I've done spells on patience. I did spells for love. And it was like I've been placed in situations like, all my financial was cut off like I had no job no bank account no nothing you know I had to depend on my ex for everything you know yeah he has helped me through a lot but he has also brought a lot on towards me you know exposed me to things that you know a person should not you know have to see you know have to hear you know stuff like that but I had to find patience through that to know that this situation is going to make me strong you know as in dangers you know, I ask God for that courage, you know, not to be weak, not to be weak minded anymore, not to be naive towards things. And it's like I had to face the facts that, you know, my family feels like I'm more worth dead than I am alive, knowing that they would try to find any kind of way to keep their hands clean, but try to have me, you know, commit suicide or anything like that. Or, you know, just to get my will, my dad's will to take home. Um, just to get be able to get my dad's inheritance and stuff like that I had to really you know find faith on find patience and you know knowing that all these things I've endured you know dealing with grief trying to get closure you know trying to heal from you know my family's abusive you know relationship with them you know trying to have seek forgiveness from the things that they constantly do you know and it's just like I've been watching shows and stuff where people are reuniting with their family if they've been drawn apart from their children and you know we have things that like that that happen and we go through things that will test us each and every day and we can ask God for you know our prayers to be answered but it's not gonna come in a way that we imagine them to you know you ask for faith you will be placed in a situation where it will test your faith each and every day just like you know what if there's a god this and this and this, and this wouldn't happen or you know it will test you 
just to say, okay, you, you say you have faith and trust in the universe. Okay, I'm going to put situations in your life to make you do nothing but trust the universe is going to get you out of this. You have tried so many things to try to get yourself out of it, but there's, you know, there's always knowing, you always know that God's answering your prayers, but it's just not, you know, where you're assuming how they're going to come at you. They're not going to come at you the way you expect them to. So it's just like, when you know God's, you know, I can actually say, do everything that I'm going through, even though I'm still a work in progress on healing from stuff like that. Like I told you, you know, my family wanted me dead. You know, my, my fiance, I really feel like, my ex-fiance, I really feel like had a connection with all that stuff because it was just too many things that were familiar, familiar <clears throat> that my mom went through that I'm currently going through too. So that made me think, okay, you know, they're talking. So it's just like, you, I have to be able to really like, okay, this has happened to me. You know, there's... You know, I, I try to get in the shelters. I try to go to d domestic violence uh, places and stuff like that. I was cut off because I had no choice but to sit here and deal with this. But through all of that, I can look at all the blessings, all the positivity that's came to my life. I can be open and honest and say, this is the things that's happening to me. I'm not trying to bash my ex. I'm not trying to bash my family. But that was, you know, that's the truth. <laughs> that is the, you know, God honest truth that this is how things are going. This is, you know, I keep giving, getting visions about these situations, but it's just a omen to show me, you know, to let me know, hey, you need to stay away from them. This is what they're planning. This is the things that they're plotting against you. And it's just like, but I overcome all these things you know, knowing that I can't be touched in that way because I have trust and faith in the universe that they're not going to allow this, you know, to come to play, you know, and I made it known to them that won't come to play, you know, anything that's for you will be for you, no matter who thinks you don't deserve anything, you know, I had people trying to dictate and control my life, try to be God and play God in my life, try to be judge and jury, uh, what is it called, judge and jury, so it's just like when you go through things and you ask God for faith, you know, he will put things in your life to test your faith. You want courage. He will put you in situations to where you have to be strong. You have no choice but to be strong. You know, when you when I want sobriety, I think it's going to be how, like I was when I stopped smoking cigarettes and stopped smoking marijuana. I was placed in situations where I would fall back <laughs> to what make, oh Lord, let me go get a drink. Oh Lord, let me pull out a cigarette. Let me roll this blunt. You know, I would be like that because situations that make me want to crack some ice cold open, peel it back, you know, knock the soul out. But I said, you know what? I'm not going to allow these people to drag me out of my character. I'm not going to allow these people to do this to me. You know, seek guidance, seek blessings and pray for them. It's like people that do things like that to you, pray for them. Because when you, you know, I, there's times that, you know, I'm like, oh, God, stop breathing. I want you to just drop dead. You know, because I was really hurt. You know, I got tired of going through that thing. You know, things. I got tired of seeing things the way they were. But I have gained strength from seeing the things that I, you know, I've seen. You know, there's people that has been close to me that knows what I'm talking about. But like, girl, I, I don't know if I could, you know, this and this and this and that. But I get, got strength from that. I have wisdom from all this stuff that I'm going through because I know everything's going to be okay. I know that things are going to be good in my life. Just like you know that you're going through things where you might see there is no way out of any way that you can seek yourself out of. That's why you got to seek guidance in God because there's, when we feel like there's no way, there's always a loophole when it comes to him. You know, there's things that we don't actually see that's going on behind, you know, the sidelines. We don't know what, what, what things are going to uncover because there's so many days where I just feel like, you know, God, these people have really did something to me. You know, how can they keep me from my family? How can they keep up the lies? How can they keep up deceptions from things being so big the way they are? I don't know what's going on behind the lights. All I know is to keep it. Make, they said, Rosalind, don't even worry about that. Just keep making these videos. You keep speaking your truth. Don't be worried about what people perceive of you. Your truth to be known. You know, all the fakeness and excuse my language fuckery that's going on with this whole situation oh everything's gonna come to light things will come to light things will be seen you know there's some people that is just like you know she's really good but i really don't know about this part of her you know the prince part of her but i know this and there's a lot of people that feel that way because it's just like how can you go about my videos and you can believe this but you can't believe that you know and it's just like that's not my choice on how you see me it's just how you you, if you see me, the true self of me, you see my true energy. You know, 
that everything I speak is true. You know, I'm not saying this for my health. I'm, you know, I could make myself look crazy if this was fake. But it's, it's just like it's not. Even as crazy as the situation is, it's not. You know, I've went through things and I know that the impact that has made on my life to make me to the point where any average person probably would have killed somebody, killed themselves, probably would have went postal. I chose not to do that. You know, when people expected me to be enraged, you know, y'all seen me at my lowest points, y'all seen me cry. If you've been with me for a while, you have seen different parts of my videos where you see, you know, me at my lowest point, like how can somebody do this to a person? You know, how can you have, you can't say you're a compassionate person when you do these things to people like that. So it's just like, I can't continue to keep exposing people, but I'm going to keep, it's, you know, it's not really trying to expose anybody saying, well, you did this and this and that. But I'm using what I went through as an example of what I'm going through. It's not about bashing or whatever because I feel like when the truth comes out, people are going to see what they need to see anyway. What's done in the dark will come to light. So it's just like when you go through things and you know that people have wished you harm or they put you in harmful dangers. When they know exactly what they're doing, trust and believe they're designing their own loops for themselves that God is, you know, apparently just wrapping up around his hand, just like, oh, I'm going to just give you a little bit more leeway. <laughs> just give you a little bit more leeway. Just feed that karma to you. And they they don't realize that they're designing their own loops. So when God gets to that point and want to start wrapping that thing around and want to jerk it, hey, that's it. <laughs> All lights out. And if y'all haven't noticed, y'all know I'm telling the truth because there's too many things that's coming out in the news that people have done so many years ago is coming and bite them back in the ass right now. So they've designed their news and that hangman is already there. So trust and believe God is answering your prayers and he will see you through anything. But trust and believe also that your life will be put to the test to make you get every little single thing that you ask for. So be careful exactly what you ask for because you will get it. So I hope you were able to get this message and it resonate to you. And I hope I didn't give anybody that vibe saying, well, that wasn't an intention. It's just to send out awareness just to know that you will get through your any situation that's been placed upon you. So send out as much love and light positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are blessed, truly loved, and highly favored. And knowing there's somebody out there praying for your better days. And like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell. Drop me a line. I love a chance to get to know you. And let me know that you, you know, you hit the notification button and be notified so I can give you a shout out on my video. And like and even share on your social media favorites as well. And my post notification shout out goes to um let me see who am i going to do today amanda lee blackwood much love to you sis i hope you're having a blessed weekend and send out as much love and light if you possibly can and i will see you on my next video peace and be wild